we manufacture uh, bicycle wheels and then we work with a wide variety of individual component manufacturers. This is um, Glass Blowing Studio and Gallery. We focus on barware, custom lighting. We also offer glow your own experience. We make candles, wax melts, body scrubs, slimes, bar soaps, foaming hand soaps, this shampoo bars. and conditioner bars. So when we started, it was all about, you know, woodworking in general. Discovered within a short amount of time that cabinetry was where a person could really make a business. I had an old uh, high school coach ask me if I'd be a mechanic for him, and I said, well, sure, I didn't have a job for the summer, so we were renting mechanical tillers at the time, they were breaking down, so I designed this tiller for that company. Took it down to a trade show in Southern California at the California Rental Association and started selling rototillers. Being on I-84 is a huge plus. Most of the supplies come from Boise. The, the way the state splits up is that uh, this part of things, we get our materials from Boise. As soon as you get down to Pendleton, they tend to get from Portland. But we also do have some suppliers that run transfer trucks between the Seattle area down to Salt Lake City. And so we're able to actually get materials that, that would be very difficult in certain areas to get because that truck is driving right down I-84, right on by us, and so they're happy to uh, stop and, and unload here in the Grand. We're not in a big city where you have all of these uh, vendors, you know, right next door, whether it's steel, whether it's components, anymore, you know, shipping things in, and especially in volume, is not an issue at all, and you do have the enjoyment of the rural atmosphere here, but it really uh, hasn't affected our ability to get product in here and especially helped us in getting product out of here. One of the great things about doing it here in La Grande is I was able to find an affordable shop space like this relatively easily. My overhead is pretty low. I'm able to compete on price that way. The use of the space and how we've been able to transform it is really ideal for what we do here. Having the large garage doors open when it's hot um, also attracts people to what we're doing here. And uh, just kind of the repurpose of an, an older building, uh, we get a lot of people that stop in and say, oh, I remember when this was a service here, you know. Filled up my tires when I was a kid, you know, on my bicycle. But ideally, you know, with the gallery space, the shop space, the wood and metal shop included, um, it's really it was the perfect fit for what I needed to expand and grow into a place I'm at now. It's been really nice because it's a family. It's a community. We call it the Marketplace family. And so Lucy and Matt is the other boutique owner and they have been so supportive and helpful and really kind of mentored us as well, helping us with display and just really kind of helping to guide us. So that's been wonderful to be down here and working with them. And yeah. I definitely think that there's a lot of opportunities that could be big. I think that right now um, it's an interesting time in terms of, of things kind of looking more internally to local communities um, rather than looking for giant companies that are producing things. And so I think that um, people that are looking to be making or manufacturing on a small scale in a small area, buyers are looking for those products more than they were in the past. The new businesses that are coming to the area, you can feel the excitement of the residents. It's bringing jobs to the area. And really that's what we need. We need businesses to come in and bring jobs. The county is always looking for alternative job opportunities for the people that are here. People that are here that raise their kids here, they want their kids to stick around, but in order to stick around, these kids need jobs. So it's been a blessing to be able to uh, produce and uh, offer some of those opportunities. So far, uh, it's been a very good place to find employees and, and to have great employees, you know, that want to see the business do well, they want to do well, they want to excel.
Obviously the size of the community is really a, a big plus here. La Grande isn't too small and it isn't too big. Um, we're not seeing crazy growth like some areas, so you kind of know people that are around you. I realized that I didn't have to go anywhere for my profession. I could work locally, I could work uh, regionally with surrounding communities, art centers, retailers, and keep my business small to start with. Um, and then grow, as I grow, I could reach out towards Portland, Boise, you know, and some other uh, larger communities outside of our region. Before I moved out here, I lived in Portland for a long time, and I thought all of Eastern Oregon was like Bend, just a desert. Union County obviously is not that. Uh, we are surrounded by some of the best and most beautiful mountains, and we have kind of unrivaled access to every kind of outdoor recreation you could possibly want. In 15 minutes you can be in the mountains, within an hour uh, you can be at a ski resort, a really an ideal place to do all those things. really enjoy being here. My husband and I had thought about leaving the area and now I I don't see that. I mean it is because of the business and the community and um, just we love it here. It's just been a great environment to, to raise children. The area of La Grande is extremely family friendly, good facilities, and uh, it's, it's just been a, a great place to raise your family.